Hey everyone, uh, today I'm just going to kind of explain how to put in a fuel pressure sensor in a 2004 F-250 with a 60 diesel. This will work anywhere from an 03 to an 07 with the 60 diesel in it. There's a couple different ways of doing it, but what you want to do is get a sensor, an um, electronic sensor, a 0 to 5 volt sensor offline off of eBay or something. Um, you can get them really cheap, like 20, 30 bucks. Or if you want, you can get the edge system, um, which I actually have the edge system here um, with the universal input. Edge does sell pressure sensors um, that plug directly in to their system. It makes it very nice plug and play, but they're you know three or four times the cost of universal sensors. So I've got the edge insight sitting there, there in my truck, if you can see it. And then it's hooked to the expandable packs here. Um, I've also got an exhaust probe hooked up. So to hook up your fuel pressure sensor, you want to find the fuel pressure bowl, which is right there um, behind all the hoses, you know, next to your boost hoses um, in your intake and your oil filter right there. So there's a test port, if you look, there's a test port right down there where I've got everything plumbed into. I think it's like an M12 or an M10 threads, so you'll have to probably get a converter. You can find those at hydraulic stores. Um, I'll look up one online and I'll post it in the comments as well so you have a link to one. Um, and then I have a few fittings in there. Um, they're all stainless steel just to make sure they're not going to corrode. You don't have to go stainless steel obviously. But your sensor there, um, that's a 0 to 100 psi sensor. Your nominal operating pressure is going to be about 65 to 70 at most as long as you have a stock pump and stock system. Um, maybe with the upgraded Blue Spring kit. Um, you can still run that pressure with the stock pressure you'll probably still be 55 or so um so then as you can see i've just got a little bit of 45 just to get it up and you know at an angle i can get to it um and then a reducer and whatnot in there and then you just this is the electrical connector it just seals and then runs all the way back to the expandable pack um watch my coolant pressure sensor install for more wiring on how to wire the sensor up and then set it up in the edge system. I'll have another video on that as well. Um, so that way you'll be able to tell what your fuel pressure is at all times. Again, um, if you have low fuel pressure, that's what's going to take out your injectors. Um, the injectors are very expensive on this truck and new stock set costs uh, between fourteen and sixteen hundred dollars um, for all eight of them. And if you replace one, I would suggest replacing all eight just to make sure they're all equal. Um, so it's important to monitor fuel pressure on these trucks um, because they do deadhead. So when they're running at idle, they'll run, you know, stock pressure is about 55 or so. Um, if you have the Blue Spring upgrade kit, you can probably bump it up to 65 or 70 PSI um, at idle. And then when you're running down the road, you're going to be, you know, a little, you know, three or four PSI less than idle pressure. But if you're running full open throttle, um, then you know you're you're gonna see a drop a significant drop on my truck i see a drop down to about 52 psi you know sometimes 48 49 psi from about 65 psi normal idle pressure if you see below 45 psi that's when you need to get concerned um, below 45 psi is doing damage to your injectors and that's what causes premature failure that could be caused by several different items um you know, if you need help diagnosing some of that, uh, look on the forums or comment in the comment section and I'll try to help you on that. But a couple things that could be causing that, obviously your first and cheapest place to look is your filters. You've got a, a secondary filter down here, probably not causing your issue. If it is anything, it's probably your primary filter down along the uh, frame rail right underneath the driver's door right about there. Um, I would suggest changing filters. Um, you change them every second oil change anyway to keep up good maintenance. It'll keep your life and your injectors a lot better. The other thing that might be causing it would be a weak fuel pump. You know, some of them are getting weak depending on the mileage of your truck. So that, that would be another thing to look at. But another important thing that I would do before doing a fuel pump as well is I was talking about the Blue Spring upgrade kit. And that's in the fuel bowl housing here. It's basically just a regulated return system, and as that spring gets weak in that fuel bowl, 
then it just returns at a lower pressure. So no matter how strong your pump is, it's just gonna only be able to build so much pressure and return the rest of it. So that's a really cheap upgrade kit. The Blue Spring is upgraded pressure system. I would suggest doing that. It's a really cheap, easy to do modification. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty simple system. You can add, you know, an air dog system to increase your pressure and flow rate, but unless you run a bigger injectors, that's really not necessary.